This is Twit. All right, I got a problem here. Yes, sir. Um, uh, what happened is uh, we had a machine, uh, Dell i660, 8 gigs memory, that uh, the family used. And uh, now I would like to use it uh, exclusively. Is there a way I can make my user account the administrator account and how do i do that you need access administrator access do you have administrator access i have administrator access i so, just don't know how to how to do it without uh, remember i don't want to lose my pictures and videos and all my documents ah so you have an account that is a limited user that you've right. been using and you'd like to make it administrator right yeah you should just be able to go in and change it Oh, how do I do that? Well, uh, let me let me look at my Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows, Windows 7. 10. Windows 10, yeah. All right, let me just look at it. I'm pretty sure you can just go into the user's control panel, user and accounts control panel, and uh, and check a box that says make me administrator. But, you know, I better look just to make sure they haven't changed that in some way and eliminated yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not very uh, user, uh, I'm not very uh, Windows 10 uh, uh, <laughs> um, <not a> double. <laughs> to, to be to be honest, uh, while I use it a lot all the time, I'm I'm not a big fan. So sometimes it uh, takes me a little while to remember. Uh, you do have to be logged in to do that, though, as the administrator. So go into your administrator account, right? Not your regular account, but your administrator account, whatever it is, and then go to the uh, users control panel or users settings, and you should be able to modify. I think there's this, you know. Windows, thank you for booting so darn quickly. I think there's a, um, let's just do it real quickly here, and I can give you the exact. Change user account control settings. I think that's probably it. No, that's UAC. I don't know why I'm, why I'm messing, a, messing around in this. Accounts, and then your, your info, sign-in options, family, and other people. Other people, yeah, that's interesting. They, you know, they've changed this. This is always a frustration for me. They have, uh, unfortunately, two control panels now in Windows with Windows 10. They have a very simple control panel, and then they have a much more uh, elaborate control panel. And the one you need, I think, is the <laughs> is the more elaborate control panel oh, okay. um, and so I'm just trying to find a quick and easy way to get into it for you modify user account yeah do it from the old control panel you know there's a really silly way of doing it where you type <laughs> what was it control space user passwords to something like that uh, right click on the start menu and select control panel. Thank you. Chat room is reminding me. Windows Windows X will pop up a uh, special hidden magical menu that has all sorts of nice uh, features. And you can launch the control panel from there, the old school control panel. Let's just do that real oh, quickly. Okay. And then once you're in there, no, it looks like they've moved that away too. Darn you, Windows! <laughs> Is it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you a link in our chat room because it's just easier to do that, or rather on our website. It's from the chat room, uh, windowscentral.com, how to change user account type in Windows 10. It is more complicated than it used to be. It is. So you're you're not asking a silly question. You, yeah. Windows key I, accounts, family, and other people. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it now. All right. Windows I, other people. Manage family settings online. No. Oh, this cracks me up. You should see under family and other people, other accounts. But it looks like, I can't tell if, th this is a newer version of uh, Windows 10. This is the uh, fall creators update. I don't know if they've hidden it. But I will give you, <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm looking at what this website says, and it doesn't look like what my computer looks like but i will give you the link on this website techguylabs.com and uh, if not wow you can always do this which is really crazy but type control space user passwords to and that will give you the old very powerful 
I don't see it here. No, that's do I have not have enough accounts on here? In yeah, I'm looking in settings. Look at they've changed it. My Windows, my Windows expert. Yeah, yeah no, this is it. Well, just go to go to settings. Go to settings. Mm -hmm. That's the new control panel. Accounts. Yeah, yeah. He's saying. Yeah, I know. What, I know what you're saying. But see, I don't see any other accounts if here. You had other accounts, it would be in there. Maybe if I maybe I just lacking other accounts. Okay, so we're gonna do what this uh, article says in Windows Central and. I'll cross my fingers. I need to make, maybe create some more accounts so that I can see all the issues. Alex Gumpel, thank you. He's my he's my Windows expert, who strangely enough collects old Macintosh computers. Isn't that odd? But he's a but he's a Windows expert. Now, there we go. Okay, so that was just because I guess I didn't have other accounts. So now, so let's do that again. Just so, jeez. Uh, the problem is I'm gun shy because they change stuff so often. So I'm going to go to users, add, edit, or remove other people. And then we're going to see add. So you see, you see other people. Here's And you'll see all the accounts, including your non, your, your limited user account. It will be right there. And then you see check account, change account type. So it's currently standard user. But you can say, no, make that an administrator. But you have to do that from an administrator account. I'm going to leave it standard user because I, it's got no good password on it. Okay, so that's uh, that would have worked had I uh, had another account on there. I just I just didn't have another account.